Hey everyone, what is going on? So we're having yet another Kingdom Cup PvP battle video, and I know I've used Lucario in the past, but I did mainly want to focus with Lucario on this video just to show you guys how good it is. Yes, you will see Lucario on every team, or almost every team. There's some substitutes you could go with, like Blaziken and Infernape. Blaziken is actually not bad. It does get a legacy move, Stone Edge, so it's not a bad Pokemon. It's definitely a good one that you might see, but I feel like everyone is going to have a Lucario. And correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I believe the only way to get a Lucario for the Great League is to trade for one and have it the IVs reroll. Let me know if I'm correct about that. Can you evolve a Riolu, a Riolu that you hatch from an egg into a Lucario and make it for the Great League? I evolved two, and both of them did not qualify, so I had to trade one of mine for a friend of mine, and then a friend's a Lucario, and then it did reroll into the Great League. But uh, yeah, let me know, guys. I'm not too sure on that, but either way, yeah, focusing on Riolu, not Riolu, Lucario, and we did go ahead and pick up the win there. And I'm beginning with Alteria in this match. He's beginning with Lapras. Also, let me know, this has more battles in it. This is a little bit longer of a video. Let me know if you like the longer ones or if you like the shorter ones. Like between 10 to 15 minutes or between 15 to 20 minutes on average. Let me know. Sometimes I'll do more, sometimes I'll do less. Maybe at the start of each cup I'll do a longer video just to have more content for you guys. But let me know what you guys think. But anyway, he has a Lucario right now. I have Alteria. Now, Alteria is a pretty good counter to Lucario because it does resist those fighting type moves. And Lucario is... Uh, neutral to like Sky Attack and Dragon Breath, even though Lucario resists, it's still going to do a lot of damage. We do have Charizard right now, he's going to go for the Sky Attack. I'm going to go ahead and block that because I knew I would get off a Dragon Claw. He's going to go ahead and block that one as I expected. So both of us are out of shields, but because Dragon Claw does charge up fast, we're going to be able to get it off. And he's actually going to be able to get off his charge move. That's going to knock out Charizard. So my last Pokemon is a Lucario. We do go ahead and knock out that Alteria. And he's going to bring in his Lapras. Power Punch It's going to steal the deal. We didn't need Power Punch. Counter would have knocked him out. But yeah, showing the power of Lucario. Not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. But it's so incredibly good. It's so powerful, guys. I mean, that Power Punch stays even if you switch out and switch back in later. Which I didn't even realize up until, you know, these battles or whatnot. But it was still good before. But either way. Anyway... Going up against Flygon, charging up Melmetal a little bit. We switch out, and he does activate that Stone Edge. I knew he had Stone Edge on his Flygon and not Earthquake. Um, I recommend Earthquake and Dragon Claw. That's personally my set. Some of you have said you actually prefer Earthquake and Stone Edge, and that's totally cool. You know, to each its own. I think Dragon Claw and Earthquake is the way to go because Dragon Claw does charge up super fast and. You know, Earthquake, obviously, you want to hit the Bastion Don, you want to hit the Lucario, whatnot. So, I like those two moves. But anyway, I do have my Bastion Don right now. He's going to go ahead and block that Flamethrower. Now, I knew his Steelix didn't have Earthquake. It has Heavy Slam. Does it have Earthquake? I might actually 100% on that. It might actually have it. I'm not too sure, guys. I was thinking of my other friend's Steelix that I knew didn't have Earthquake. But I'm not too sure. I, I believe it doesn't have it. No, it does have it. Never mind. That's right. It does have it. So that's why I went ahead and blocked that. So it was another friend's Steelix that I was thinking about. Getting off the Flamethrower. Not doing a whole lot. We do switch out get that Thunderbolt off because we already have a lot built up into Melmetal. He's going to get off the Earthquake and knock out my Melmetal. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in this Bash Deal Don. And we're going to go ahead and get this Flamethrower off. And there goes Steelix, and he's going to bring in his Charizard, and it's going to fall immediately to Bastion Don. So, Bastion Don, coming in clutch, you know, if that last Pokemon was a Lucario, we might not have won, because Lucario's going to easily destroy Bastion Don, but definitely recommend the Bastion Don. Anyway, he begins with his Charizard, and I begin with my Alteria. He's going to switch ASAP into Obama Snow. Now, Obama Snow, I don't think is that good for this cup. I'm not really too sure why he switched into Obama Snow. I'm going to pull the switch, charge up a little bit. I switch into my um, Bastion Don. Now, Bastion Don is actually neutral to Razor Leaf, so he's actually doing a good amount of damage to me. So, the switch was a mistake, but at the same time, I didn't realize. I thought it resisted Razor Leaf. I wasn't thinking that it was neutral. So, uh, now I know that it's neutral. So, now I, I know that that wasn't a, a good switch on my end. But that's okay. That's okay. You have to... Play these battles. I don't think you're going to encounter a bomb of snow in this tournament. It's not a good one. Razor Leaf is not going to come in handy. Um, I, uh, not much. I mean, it does hit Steelix. It does hit Bastiodon, all for neutral damage. But other than that, it's really not going to 
help you out in this tournament, I don't think. But anyway, he has his Charizard. And Lucario actually getting off a charge move, standing up to Charizard. So even though Charizard is good against Lucario, it's still able to do some good damage to that Charizard. Bringing in Altaria, and we're going to knock out Charizard. So we do go ahead and take yet another win. So good games, good games. This is actually his uh, first battle in the Kingdom Cup. So, you know, he's just trying things out whatnot. So that's cool, that's cool, that's what it's about, right? So... Yeah, we begin with Flygon, he begins with Alteria. Not really a good lead for us. I decided to stay in because, as I've said, Dragon Claw does charge up super fast. So we're able to get two Dragon Claws off, forcing a shield. So he's down a shield and he... Yeah, he's down a shield and half health. So he's going to get off his move. I'm going to go ahead and use a shield on that. And he's actually going to go ahead and get off yet another Sky Attack. Unfortunately, I'm not going to waste my last shield because I just don't want to. So we're getting off the Dragon Claw. Not knocking it out. Uh, he actually knocks out Charizard. So we bring in Lucario. And this is really going to show the true strength of Lucario. He does bring in his Steelix Power Punch. Going to town. Uh, doing a good amount of damage. He's going to go ahead and get off his move, which is Heavy Slam. I didn't think it was Earthquake because I didn't think he had time to charge it up. And we do go ahead and activate Power Up Punch. He's going to go ahead and block that, of course. Definitely the correct play. But we do go ahead and get off a of Power Punch. And that's going to knock out Lapras. So Lapras sweeping his entire team. Not Lapras. Uh, Lucario sweeping his entire team. I thought I had lost that one, you know, but... We actually bring in that Lapras, and after that battle, he's like, I definitely have to get myself a Lapras, you know. Uh, not a Lapras, a Lucario, excuse me. So, yeah, you definitely need Lucario. You're going to see it everywhere, as you guys know. This battle, though, beginning with Lucario, he begins with the Lolan Sand Slash. We're going to knock that out. He switches into Entei, which is uh, not really good for us, but we have multiple power punches in a row, so we just uh, use it to our advantage. We can't switch out, so... He's going to go ahead. We're actually going to go ahead and knock him out. But we have a buffed up Lucario. And he's going to go ahead and block that. But at this point, pretty uh, confident. Feeling pretty confident in my ability. Dra trying out Dragonair. Now, I don't have anything invested in Dragonair. I only have Aqua Tail. And it has Dragon Breath. Uh, I think the other move you want is Rap. Uh, but I'm not going to purchase a secondary move because I don't plan on using Dragonair. I think it's pretty good, but it's just not a Pokemon that I'm probably going to use for the cup. But it is fun to use. Mine is only at, like, I think 1259, 1260, 61, something like that. You know, so it's not fully maxed out. I just used what I had. But Bash Shield on, saving the day, knocking out that Steelix. So, yeah, taking another win. So, another fantastic game. Another fantastic game. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into yet another battle. Beginning with Dragonair, trying out Dragonair again, he does begin with Alolan Sand Slash. Now, obviously, we got to get out of there because we're Dragon-type. And we're going to bring in Charizard, doing a lot of damage to that Pokemon. Blastburn actually doing a lot to Moltres as well. So, you can see the power of Blastburn. Um, I had heard that Typhlosion is actually better than Charizard for this cup. And the only Typhlosion I have with Blastburn is about 200 CP, so... it. I do have a ways to go to max it out. I might try and trade for a higher CP1. Definitely to try it out. I do like Charizard because he can resist those fighting moves. Although Lucario still does a lot of damage to it. But yeah, I definitely do want to try out uh, Typhlosion. Uh, but we do go ahead and knock out his Lucario. He's going to go ahead and knock out us. Now, unfortunately, I do have this Flygon. We do get a Dragon Claw off, though, and he's going to go ahead and block that. And he's going to uh, be able to knock us off before, knock us out before we get off another Dragon Claw. Now, if we managed to get off that Dragon Claw, we would have actually won the match, but not able to get off that Dragon Claw. So, good game. He does go ahead and win the match. Beginning with Lapis, he's actually beginning with his own Bash Shield on, and... You know, Lapras is pretty good against Special Dawn, but Special Dawn's also good against Lapras. It's kind of like a trade, but Lapras does charge up faster, so Lapras actually wins the match, I think. Um, actually, if he had uh, Stone Edge, I think he would have knocked out Lapras, so, you know, I think, I think it's kind of like a close call, you know. But, yeah, they're both good against each other, so my Lapras does go down, but I'm happy because I took his shield and we knocked out his Bash Shield on with, Lu with a Lucario coming in. So, I didn't want to do the switch immediately because he would have pulled out the switch. He would have pulled out Bash Shield on and switched into something else. Activating Power of Punch, even though he does go ahead and protect that, we get off yet another Power of Punch. He doesn't have any shields left, so that is going to knock out Kingdra, and his last Pokemon is Alolan Ninetales. Now, Alolan Ninetales is a Pokemon that I will try out for this cup. I don't think it's good for this one compared to the previous two. It was better for the Twilight Cup and the Tempest Cup, in my opinion. I don't think it's really that great for this cup. 
But, you know, it's definitely a Pokemon I do want to go ahead and use. Beginning with Altaria this time, he does begin with his Melmetal. And I'm going to go ahead, charge up a little bit, get some energy. Not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Bringing in my Lucario, we are going to resist that Rock Slide. He brings in his Moltres. I'm going to go ahead, activate this Power Up Punch. He's actually going to block it. I wasn't expecting a block because... I don't think that really would have done a lot of damage. It did resist it, but that's okay. He does actually knock out my Lucario, so bringing in Alteria, and uh, he's going to go ahead, get off his Fire Blast, doing a lot of damage despite Alteria's bulk and resisting it, so I didn't expect that much damage, but Fire Blast is really strong, I guess, so that's why it did a lot of damage. Now, he does get off his Rock Slide. I'm going to have to immediately protect myself. I was trying to knock him out. I was trying to be smart, knock him out, so I didn't have to use a charge move. Wasn't able to happen, so we do go ahead and use our last shield, but we're going to be able to get off this Blast Burn and knock out the Steelix, so it didn't matter. Either way, I felt comfortable with that game, and uh, we do go ahead and pick up the win, so... Yeah, yet another game, another good game, another good game. So we're going to go ahead, use our Alteria, and he's going to use our Steelix. I basically know like five or six Pokemon that I want to use on my team. So I'll probably do a team discussion talking about the Pokemon that I do want to use. Uh, it's not a finalized team just yet. Of course, things can change. But uh, right now, I mean, I really like five, six Pokemon. So anyway... Both Lucario's knock each other out. He brings out Kingdra. I bring out Alteria. Now, Alteria does win in this situation. If you're going Dragon Breath to Dragon Breath, if we're not talking about shields, uh, we win anyway. He used the shield, and we still knocked him out. He wasn't able to get off his charge move. But we bring in Bastiodon. He's going to use Crunch. Now, I know his Steelix doesn't have Earthquake. This is the friend I was talking about. I knew for a fact his Steelix didn't have Earthquake, so I had nothing really to worry about. I do go ahead and block that one, though, just because we're down to our last Pokemon, so I might as well. You know, there's really no reason not to. I didn't have to predict an Earthquake, because as I said, I knew he didn't have Earthquake. I knew he only had Crunch. So, um... Yeah, Steelix, I feel like, is a Pokemon you'll definitely see on quite a few players' teams. I haven't used it yet. I do plan on testing it for this cup, but I haven't used mine yet. I haven't tried it out. But Bastiodon does take the win, so uh, Steelix should win that matchup unless if... Uh, it has. It doesn't have Earthquake, as you saw, that one didn't have Earthquake. But if it does, I believe Earthquake is just going to dominate. Of course it's going to dominate. But uh, yeah, we have our good old Flygon. He gets off Rock Slide. Not doing a lot. I'm charging up Dragon Claw quite a bit. He brings in Alolan Ninetales. Now, I immediately click on the Dragon Claw without even seeing what Pokemon it was. So if I knew it was Alolan Ninetales, I would have just pulled the switch immediately. I didn't even know it was Alolan Ninetales. I just figured it would have been a good... Uh, thing to use against anything, but no, not against the Lola Ninetales. I, I should have waited to see, I guess, but, you know, I pull the switch into Lucario, and doing a good amount of damage, we knock it out with Power of Punch ready to go, and a Shadow Ball ready to go. I use Shadow Ball thinking that he'll think it's Power of Punch and not protect, and that's exactly what happens. He does not protect, and we do go ahead and knock him out. We manage to survive that Rock Slide and get off a Power of Punch, and that is going to knock out Melmetal, so we do go ahead and take that game with good old, like, Lucario, uh, picking up a rare candy actually. I'm loving Lucario, guys. I love Power of Punch in general. It's such a good move. It, it really is. It really is a powerful move, you know. And I feel like a lot of people are going to use it. I feel like everybody's going to use it, as I said, as long as they have it. You know, if, if they don't have it, they, they won't use it. But anyway, getting off a of Rock Slide, doing a good amount of damage to that Alteria. I know I could tank its hits, its Sky Attack, its Dragon Pulse. So we do take that, getting off yet another Rock Slide. So I knew it would either knock it out or cost him a shield. So he decides not to give up any shield, and it does get knocked out. Decide to charge up some energy. He does get off his rock slide, and that is actually gonna knock us out. I lagged a little bit, so I wasn't able to respond or attack or switch during that point. Point, but either way, it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. Uh, we do have Lucario, which is definitely gonna destroy Mel Metal, and we do go ahead and knock out that Mel Metal. And now he brings in a Lola Nine Tails, getting off the power of Punch. Uh, his Alolan Ninetales did some good damage to us last tournament. It was really tricky to go against, I felt like, both in the Twilight Cup and the Tempest Cup, but I feel like it's not really a threat in this cup. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead, use the shield on that Psyshock, and he, we're going to finish him off, and that is another good game. So we're going to go ahead and jump into yet the final battle of this video. I'm going to decide to bring it, uh, begin with Bastiodon. He begins with Bronzong. A couple of you had asked me to try out Bronzong, and I do have a Bronzong, so I do feel like trying it out. Um, but anyway, we do get off that flamethrower. He's going to go ahead and 
block it. I'm not going to block this. He does get off Heavy Slam. Not doing a lot to us, but we're neutral to that. So it's more damage than if we were to resist it, obviously. Uh, so, you know, it's doing a decent amount of damage. He did take away quite a bit of health from us. So I don't want to say it's not doing anything. But he's also down a shield. And we did pick up his first Pokemon. There goes our uh, Bastion Don immediately. Bringing in Charizard. He gets off... Um, Power Punch. We actually switched out the Bash Shield on in time, but it's very little health. Uh, he's going to go ahead, use his last shield. I'm going to go ahead and protect this Power Up Punch. And that is going to knock out Lucario. And he's going to bring in his last Pokemon, which is a Lolin Ninetales. Get off that Blast Burn, and that's going to knock it out. And that's a good game. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, click on one of the links to check out another one of my videos that you'll probably enjoy.